was not a physical location. Where can a man see the whole world and the glory in a minute? It was a spiritual location. The church must come out of the valley. Psalms 23. Even though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. That is what exists in the valley. The Bible says, and John was in the valley of Patmos. He was in the valley. But there are things the Lord could not reveal to John. He said, John, come up either that I may show you things you need to see. There is a limitation of sight when men are in the valley. A man that is on first floor does not see what a man sees in fourth floor. The valley will limit you to see what God wants to do. There is a place you, you study Israel. All the altars of Baal were not in valleys. The Bible says, and when a king arose in power, they had to deal with the high places. Spiritual matters are not in valleys. But battles are in valleys. Show me a man that has mastered the art of ascending to the mountain. I'll show you a man that wins in the valley. Hallelujah. So the Amalekites, <laughs> they never fought fairly. And Moses decoded the pattern of fighting the Amalekites. The elders, Moses, Aaron, and Hur, ascended on the mountain, and the young generation entered into the valley. But the victory of Joshua was dictated by the strength of Moses. The victory in the valley is dictated by the strength of your priestly mood. Amen. Ah. Oh, Jesus. It is the strength of your priestly mood that dictates what happens in the valley. Every man will walk in the valley, but your transactions are dictated by your priestly hood in the, in, the, in the high places. And listen, this is not an easy matter. Lifting your hands is not an easy matter. The Bible says he needed two men that any time he got tired, he lost. Have you not read in the land of Babylon, they looked at Daniel and they said, what shall we do to this man? Because we cannot find anything against his life in terms of his integrity. They realized the power source of Daniel is connected to his altar of prayer. They said, if only we can disturb his prayer schedule for one man, 30 days, and come up with a law that people ought to worship the king and the king only will be in a position to disturb Daniel. Listen, never allow anything to interfere with your prayer pattern. Whether you're in a new location or not, never allow any circumstance to interfere with your prayer pattern. The people in Babylon needed 30 days only to deal with Daniel. But the Bible says on that day when the king signed that decree, on that day, he opened the windows of Jerusalem, looked at the ancient altars that were in Jerusalem, and he released a cry. That cry secured the atmosphere. By the time they were throwing him in the lion's den, he had secured the atmosphere of Babylon by the cry of prayer. Okay, you know, Daniel converted the lion den into the original order before the fall of man. You know, God never created wild animals. That name wild is not in the Bible. They became wild after the fall. Mosquitoes used to take nectar. But after the fall, see, they are now taking blood. <laughs> That's what the Bible says, creation. Creation grows in the book of Romans with earnest manifestation for, with earnest expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. Those sons will be manifested when the trumpet sounds. 